Welcome to DCL Radio. You are listening to DCL Talk Show. Next week, we don't have any games, so I thought of introducing our new captains to our league. Uh, when I say new captains, these are not new. Uh, these guys are not new to our league. Uh, they have been playing in this league and they, they have been backbone of their own teams. Yet, they ended up starting a new team. I thought of introducing them so that, you know, they'll talk about themselves and they'll talk about, um, they'll talk about uh, their team. and why they formed their team so with that i'll uh, uh, right after that introduction about them i will quickly get into our uh, prediction okay all three gentlemen new captains will be predicting and so i'm i mean i'm very excited to hear from uh, from them about how uh, they are they are going to analyze those games and to predict and uh, i also have our regular analyst dinesh with me with that let me welcome um, everybody on to uh, on to radio uh, welcome to the show dinesh hello everyone uh, thanks for the option hey uh, welcome uh, new captains okay welcome suda ss uh, captain of uh, slcc guardians welcome to the show thank you okay, satish yes, gaba captain of detroit titans welcome to the show thank you jagan venkat gothi captain of knights welcome to the show thank you jagan okay with that straight away i'll get into uh, uh, my first question and i'll start with uh, satish gaba who is um, i believe is a is a senior most among all three and he um, i don't know if i can call this one you can correct me uh, satish you were uh, um, uh, you've been leading krcc uh, entire year though you you are the shadow captain the captain is different but you you led the team uh, throughout the season in 25th years of uh, 25th year of dcl and this year we are see a we see a new team okay introduce your team and and um, uh, talk us through what made you to start a new team that too after making it to finals yeah thank you jagan for the invitation so let me brief about you know how we have uh, came up with this team so this team has been this uh, detroit titan team has been formed by the same group of people who have formed krcc back in 2016 yes you were right that krcc till last year last year krcc i was leading across all the form, all the platform fcc tournament or all the top top ball tournament except dcl dcl is always uh, yogesh mittal yogi bhai was our captain and when uh, in his absence because i was the vice captain so i was leading krcc so that was uh, just wanted to correct you there but in any other format because this krcc has been formed by group of uh, people you know only the dcl was something that is owned by or lead by uh, yogesh uh, yogi bhai so used to lead and the rest all the format fcc michigan cup color trophy all those format i used to lead and what I, we just you know we wanted again as i told you right 2016 we formed this team this year we thought you know we'll again form the new team so we came up with the titan so that we all as a family can play together this tournament and enjoy the cricket summer season around fantastic that's a nice uh, wonderful thought and uh, can you introduce your uh, team and especially you are the captain and um, uh, uh and your vice who is your vice captain and the vice captain team? is uh, amrit yadav mm mm-hmm. again he is part of the krcc group because again i told you right this is a group of people who has formed the krcc he has been with krcc i think if not if i am not wrong from 2017 and he oh, only okay. playing dcl with the other team because of you know again ownership and uh, all other stuff and this year we decided you know we can go ahead and create a form new new team with the same people same group of people and and he joined and he has a very good cricketing sense and you know he has very good people connection as well so it is a right fit for and to to lead this team along with me okay and see i also wanted to ask you know uh, see you guys haven't started uh, to the expectation of uh, dcl family but i'll come back before you answer and i want to introduce other two captains and i'll come back and ask you that one okay sure. so that it gives enough time to prepare for that answer <laughs> sure, okay sir. okay that uh, uh, let me uh, introduce suda here suda welcome to the show you are very uh, well known personality in um, legends team and what made you to start this team i mean i i should not i shouldn't call this one start a new team and you guys have fo- fo- formed a club and this is the second team but for your cap- you know capabilities and i have i played a game, game against you guys a couple of weeks back and i have seen how well uh, 
uh, you guided the team. So what made you to come to this, I mean, technically calling this one as a secondary team, what made you to do, uh, come to this team and, uh, and instead of being with the legends, you're, and I mean, I'm talking in terms of your abilities. So can you, can you enlighten us on that? Sure, Jian. So basically uh, we formed a South Lean cricket club and I have been legend and even before Somehow, somehow you are breaking up. Um, yeah, I can. Yeah, please go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So I was part of Sergeant from from the start of the team, and I was with Satish Belamkonda before even we started the Legends team. I, I have played along with him in Blues team, and we formed Southland Cricket Club, and we thought of growing more cricket around South Lane area. So since we know a lot of people and we have a lot of people itself in Legends team, so we thought it would be a good idea to start a second team in such a way that we'll get a good name to South Lane Cricket Club as well as 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 well as if we get more teams into DCL or any other tournament, it would be a good for, good for Michigan cricket. So that's how we plan to start a second team. And I was the main reason I came to SLC Guardians was always when we start a new team, it is good that like a a person who manages well and who have more experience in managing people as well as other things in the cricket, if they take care of the team newly formed team for the first couple of years, it will be great and the team will be established nicely. That is the main reason I came from Legends and leading the Guardians team. And okay, moreover, yeah, yeah, please go ahead. go ahead. Sorry for stopping you. Go ahead. Yeah, and moreover, some of the players which we got from uh, Guardians, they come from Lansing. So I do have good rapport with them. So the main reason we formed, we didn't try to get any players in and around Detroit. We got some new players from Lansing so that we can get new positions for them to in the DCL. It's about basically giving opportunity to new guys. Yes. If, if yes, I understand especially. it correctly. True. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. Okay, so and uh, see the first game you guys really played well. I I think that is the only Thank game you, you guys played uh, as of uh, today. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, so be, uh, who is your vice captain? It, it, it's Hari Krishna Kurada. He's okay. from Lansing. He 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 has more experience with the ball as well mm -hmm. as leather ball. And um, as many of you have known, Hari Kurada used to play for Bridges Cricket for a long yes. time. And yes. later he played for Glad. He almost played like he he plays almost each and every match, almost throughout the season. Not only this year he plays um, most of the Michigan Cup, and also he organizes some tournaments in Lansing League as well. He plays all the tournaments in Lansing too. He has a vast of F experience in cricket and especially with T-ball. And most likely that's the main reason after me. Hare Krishna is the best person to look after anything in. Uh, welcome to the show, the captain of uh, Knights. Uh, I know you are part of Safaris and uh, you are one of the key members, I mean, founder members of Safaris and you started this new team. Uh, please walk us through what went behind this. Sure, Jigan. Uh, I would start with uh, thanking uh, for this opportunity uh, to join here and, uh, you know, present ourselves. So, uh, one of our uh, teammates took initiation, uh, uh, the vice captain, I would say, Ramesh, uh, took initiation to form a new team uh, with, uh, uh, you know, few folks around. Uh, you know, few of our uh, teammates have played DCL earlier as well, and uh, there are few uh, new folks uh, who have just joined the DCL this year. So it's a mixture of uh, uh, new and, uh, you know, the players have already played DCL. So it's it's more about uh, uh, you know giving more opportunities uh, 
for the players around uh, i don't see any <laughs> any other uh, story behind uh, uh, you know forming this uh, new team so it's all about uh, you know getting um, playing more and more matches uh, as far as uh, the players concerned so we have some excited excited talent and uh, the experienced talent as well so yep, yep that's uh, pretty much about uh, the team and uh, the forming the team yeah okay cool uh, who is vice captain of your team so th- it would be ramesh uh, devarapu okay so what is the speciality of uh, ramesh is he bowler or batsman or all rounder he is a batsman uh, with a keeping ability and uh, he has more uh, cricketing sense than anybody in our team <laughs> Okay, cool. That's awesome. And you see, um, and I've seen two games. One you guys won, and the other one you guys lost a very close one. And I read a summary about your game, and uh, by Santosh Kakulvaram, who empowered your games. And it's a beautiful summary. And uh, apparently, you guys dropped some sitters, and uh, eventually that led to your uh, you guys to lose that game. Is that true? Yes, it is. Uh, uh... Uh, it's a very unfortunate um, uh, things happens over the ground you know what happens there we we left there itself we dropped uh, more than sitters uh, we try for some hard ones and uh, it's a uh, you know uh, a unlucky day for the players uh, you know who had uh, a very hard time <laughs> during the day but other than that uh, we we had a lot of positives in that match the way i see uh, you know the folks were really excited uh, to get the match out there and uh, uh, is this uh, some other day you know when things don't go your way <laughs> okay fantastic okay so i'll, I'll go back to uh, um satish satish i asked you a question okay so things aren't looking that bright and what do you think uh, you can do uh, to get into that winning column yeah so again sir i think the la- we have played two games hmm. one game against mcc mile was quite a close game yeah. we should have won that game also very comfortably we were i i believe you guys have already done those analysis but again there are couple of mistake that we made which has lost us the game against the pokris we have the second game against the pokris again i think uh, pokris is the batting side and we were able to restrict them in a to to two digit number so there we also did good but i think batting failed in their game uh, low, lower middle order these are the two mm-hmm. games that we have already lost and to be very frank our my team has more capability to do you know we, we probably would have won both the games if you know we would have won our 100% potential but at this point we are not but i have you know full confidence on my team and you know full faith that we can bounce back even more stronger So let's hope for a good game you know coming and going on i think we have again very tough game again glads uh, uh after the long weekend so let's see how it goes but yeah and uh, i still have very good faith and confidence on my own team and we can even we can do a better than what we are doing at this point okay that's a fantastic answer and i'll go to sudha sudha what's your plans for uh, you know this year where do you think uh you guys can go so the keep up with the players and and let them show their skills and let them play to their potential i would think if all the players who uh who for, like who might think they can when they play that when the if they, if they can perform well to their talent i would definitely think we will definitely make it to playoffs that's what i am aiming for even though it's a new team and we have some few players who are experienced players and also who are talented players who didn't get an opportunity playing for other teams so i would definitely think we do if we play to the, our potential i would certainly put ourselves in playoff spot in the playoffs That's very good I'm very good yeah. okay good 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 hey, venkat quick question for you and um uh 
See, I, I just got a message saying that, you know, you guys have a player by name Khalil, uh, who is second leading wicket getter in the league. So, can you talk about him a little bit? Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, I mean, Khalil is a well-known player, I believe, uh, uh, you know, better than uh, myself. Uh, he is very good in business. Uh, the number six itself, basically the five overs he bowled about six wickets and uh, six runs and that changed the uh, you know the the whole uh, view of the game and the whole view of the team uh, he, he he is very very excited talent and uh, uh, the pace the line his uh, ability to think um, He's uh, the way he reads the batsman, the way he sets up the field, and is a very calm uh, and uh, is very natural player, uh, very very natural in bowling and uh, uh, you know the field. He's very very calm on the field. He he tries to think through what the batsman would expect out of him and what he is trying to do, what he wants him to try something different to get him out. So. For example, the other day I was asking about, uh, hey, uh, do you want to go for the third over? You know, third consecutive over within the same spell. You said, you know what, give me a break. I will take it, you know, uh, around and come back. It was the same thing going over my mind because the batsman is predominantly looking to see through his six balls and see what's okay. coming next. So okay. he's such a uh, great. Uh, 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 reader of the you know batsman and uh, his the bowling abilities are very natural the way he bowls with his pace and uh, you know for especially uh, you know the team was uh, talking about what happens with that that kind of pace and the the, the, the cutters yeah so uh, i'm very sure everyone will have trouble uh, <laughs> this season and I'm, i i should be sorry for them <laughs> that's fine this is cricket and and you know uh, uh, things happen, you know, you may lose a couple of games, you may win a couple of games, but at the end of the day, you going there, enjoying the moment is what is uh, needed for any player, okay? And uh, uh, so I'll ask you all, all three of you, uh, and including Dinesh, I ask you one question, and after that, we will jump into predictions, okay? The one question is, you know, what is uh, the major uh, difficulty for any new team uh, when they are playing, you know, when they're starting a new team, major difficulty or issues, anything that you expect from uh, DCL that you want to overcome? What is that major difficulty? Don't, uh, uh, I'll, I'll start with Satish. Satish. Or with the team. Question. The difficulty that we see from the DCL side or, or DCL side as well as your uh, you, know, you started a new team. So the competitive competitiveness and competitive level in DCL is very high. So you have to set your expectations a uh, little high. Isn't that a pressure? No, I would not say that's a pressure. And I think for me it is not something very new. I mean I'm not starting from the scratch as I mentioned, right? So I'm I was leading this side from you know couple of years, mm -hmm. uh, maybe, maybe around seven, eight, nine people on the same mm -hmm. side, right? So you might have seen me DCL Corporate Cup, FCC, all the FCC tournaments. So these are the same things. Only challenges mm -hmm. I see, you know, the couple of new talent that we have mm -hmm. got into, how best we can utilize them. That is always a challenge for a captain, you know, how to get the best out of each one that works for the team, you know, for the winning composition. That is always a challenge. And that will be a challenge for each match. Is what I always see as a captain. Okay. Is is, is there any expectations? Uh, do you have any expectations from uh, from the other side, like committee? Committee, yeah. Uh, only one thing that I did not like or understand from the committee side is like why to have you know that five hundred, six hundred additional money. I I, I have the clarification, but still. And even like one team, like we because we played multiple leagues, and if you know the penalties for the new teams are way much stronger than the existing team. That is one thing that personally I did not like because I was not considering myself as a newcomer to the DCL. But rest of all, I think DCL 
कमेटी इज वेरी कोऑपरेटिव एंड वेरी वेलकम सो देर नो मच कंप्लेन और मीन इन एक्चुअली अप्रिशिएबल वर्क दैट यू गाइस डू दैट आई नो बिकॉज़ यू डू अ लॉट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क एंड पार्थिव आई नो वेंकट सर सो वेरी कोऑपरेटिव पीपल सो थैंकफुल अभी आर एक्चुअली थैंकफुल आई एम पर्सनली एज अ Detroit Titans captain I am very thankful for you So so the, the the one issue you see is basically uh with the fining do you Fine. think there is a difference between fining uh, senior teams and uh, No I think fining teams. also right like I think you have paid extra amount and that deposit is extra and then the, oh, the, the, the deposit uh, the extra deposit I have an explanation for that if you Yeah I, I do know that so I do yeah. know that so I that that know. comes back to the teams the uh, diesel won't keep that yeah diesel won't keep that i do know that explanation but i think the deposit getting the deposit the rules for the new team and existing teams are different for the deposit to go away right is what my understanding is if i if a new team could not show up for even a single game we would get our deposit uh, uh, right that something like that so that yes, is the yes you know see the basic idea is, is you know Uh, normally what happens is somebody will start a team and then you know they quickly doesn't doesn't great you know uh, five years six years back i have seen a team coming in with a lot of passion and uh, they lost two games and they never showed up after that you know in yeah. see it's a loss for the opposition team like you know somebody who wants to come there and enjoy their cricket and the opposition didn't show up because they don't have leven or they don't have mm-hmm. uh see mm-hmm. the much hunger to play the game because they lost couple of first two games uh, they are not meeting their uh expectations so we don't want to you know, give uh you know see, see the unnecessary pain to the pain to somebody who really want to pay uh, play so right. that is the reason that uh, this was introduced yeah i do understand only that thought came from me only because i was not considering myself new to the dcs so. <laughs> but unfortunately you know whenever yeah. you know we have to go by certain rule you know who is new who is not so right. yeah. i do understand that yeah yeah, yeah. So, but that's a genuine question but uh, let's hope things will change in future okay with the, with the, with the kind of cricket that we see uh, in current world i mean current days uh, which wasn't the same exactly uh, 10 years ago okay so this rule was introduced almost a decade ago i think yeah so and uh, so i'll go to the, i'll go to sudha with the same question and after that you know i have uh, three questions uh from uh, satish legends captain i'll ask you guys later okay uh, um sudha same question yeah. whatever yeah. i asked uh, satish i want to hear it sure. from you yeah as i said earlier like uh, this team is a mixture of a few existing players from the teams and who have some experience in dcl and also some new talent who came new to michigan or somewhere else nearby nearby places i mean they not not around detroit so when we are playing some people and uh, the people who doesn't have exposure to dcl ball it will be a little bit tough with them to explain in a better way in first few matches and it is a little tough to coordinate with them and understand them make them understand better and cope up with the game along with the senior players it will be a little bit challenging in games but hope games they will come back strong and they will and what is the best thing to do at some at for for situations uh somehow you are breaking again so probably yeah. you are you must be on uh, on uh, a wireless uh, what headphone yeah i uh, uh, i'm i'm with the uh, <laughs> bluetooth headset yeah so probably that is the reason you know it's breaking up but that's fine okay. Okay. let's quickly go to venkat venkat your thoughts yeah uh, i have mainly uh, two challenges that uh, i have uh, as of today the first challenge i had was i i, I think i'm uh, through that challenge now so the first challenge was for me to understand a player know their abilities uh, you know when we started as a team uh, we overrated 
few players we underrated few players you know the, in understanding their uh, abilities uh, you know how who can bowl where who can bat where how to align you know the uh, the playing 12 and uh, you know putting the right people in the right place uh, would get us a game and uh, you know get going the uh, all you know uh, team uh, as a team and uh, since it's a new team uh, we have uh, people from uh, uh, there are few folks who have played earlier dcl and a few uh, are very new to dcl so getting them together was a good challenge for me to start with but they this these folks are very good and they are good team by now each other understands well who bowls how who bats how who uh, uh run in between the wickets and you know how they coordinate who is quick who is slow <laughs> so such challenges so those are uh, you know we were able to deal as of today and uh, we we are uh, about to get go uh, the two challenges that i would see is we have very uh, great bowling unit so picking five good bowlers out of uh, 7 8 is a big challenge for going forward and uh, batting wise we have a very good batting lineup we just have to uh, place them in right order to get go as well and get the uh, team out uh, you know rather la winning line and uh, the challenge too i would say is uh, you know more than winning losing we just have we just want everyone to see uh, the game as a cricket is uh, you know great game and enjoy it more than anything uh, any other thoughts more than any other thoughts just go out uh, you know enjoy your bowling enjoy your batting fielding back up your mate uh, you know just cheer up uh, just don't let anyone down uh, you know just be positive and uh, you know be happy we enjoy the game so that would be my second challenge uh, uh, with the team uh i think i should be able to get through <laughs> good 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 you have very wonderful points nice points and your chemistry is a very key for any new team and uh, uh, utilizing the skills uh, of already i um, mean experienced team these are the words from actually from uh, satish legends captain okay and uh, sometimes you don't win but keep that momentum going on and uh, see uh, keep that faith going on and enjoy the moment you know as soon as you take a wicket you you, you know you take uh, as soon as you hit a four as a team you guys should be able to live in that moment enjoy that moment uh, regardless of the result of the game so so these are all the challenges uh, for uh, for any new team but and see another important thing nobody talked here nobody discussed is you know you guys have to know the rules thoroughly okay uh, most of the new teams that i have seen uh they come into the game without uh without understanding some of the rules of tcl okay that's where the senior captains or senior teams take advantage of those okay with that i'll quickly go to dinesh dinesh do you have any thoughts uh, i mean you are listening all this stuff and uh, yeah. uh sorry to keep you there <laughs> but you know no uh do you see all this in your eyes so i no so th- the biggest thing is like uh, dcl is is uh, the toughest t ball league around here right so a lot of people think it's like uh, they they play other t ball leagues and they think okay yeah dcl let's give it a shot kind of thing it's like those teams are the ones which suffer uh because of uh, the quality of cricket here right so if that's the thought and you come here uh, it's going to be a major problem where it becomes uh, completely demoralizing um it, it, it's brutal right let's let's put it that way so that's where new teams end up struggling like uh, satish gabba uh, is a is a different uh, situation here along with the with the other captains but if it's fairly a new team which is inexperienced they've not played dcl before that's going to be a rude awakening for them so the, i see that being the toughest uh, here um and the other issue is like a lot of times what happens is like people are not committed to dco sometimes uh, uh they will come and they prioritize uh, whatever other cricket it might be leather ball some other tee ball leagues around here and all of that so that becomes another uh, situation where on that given day where you don't where the strongest team is available but they 
they just don't want to show up they have other priorities and uh, that becomes very demoralizing too so these are two major things if you're not all in for dcl you better not play is my thought you know <laughs> yeah okay with that we'll quickly get into predictions we have 30 minutes so uh, let's go quickly and uh, uh, give your thoughts on who is going to win and what is the reason okay and uh, the first game of the night is detroit bathsha versus canton 11 i'll start with dinesh dinesh who do you think uh, yeah, will win this, in this one... brotherhood fight <laughs> yeah indeed right but uh, with what i think canton 11 for me with uh, with the experience uh, i think canton 11 uh, should be able to uh, take this game canton 11 okay uh, sudha I do vote for Canton 11 based on their experience and I heard that some other players from other good teams have been moved to Canton 11 so I would expect Canton 11 to perform better. Canton 11, okay. Satish? Canton 11 for me as well. I think the kind of experience they carry, they should be able to win this game. Win this one, okay. Venkat? Uh, I would go with Canton 11. Um, so my choice of going with this would be based on 2020, uh, 2019 DCL rather. Uh, I haven't played uh, uh, last year, last year. So I will go with Canton 11. Canton 11. Okay. So it's a 4-0 Canton 11. Oh, okay. The next game is Detroit Bulls versus Stars. I think um, this is just my opinion. Stars should take this game very easily. Okay. Dinesh. Yeah, uh, same thing, uh, Janumbra. I think Stars should uh, take this, but uh, we always hope, uh, as uh, you know, we are talking about new teams and stuff. It's like we always hope for a good competition and good game of cricket. Um, hopefully, it's going to be a close game than we we are thinking. But Stars should have this. Stars should have this one. Uh, your thoughts, Sudha? I would vote for Stars as well, and um, based on my previous experience playing against them. Uh, Stars has a very great team with uh, potential players. So, and also Detroit Bulls is a good team and they will definitely try to give some good fight in the Stars, but still Stars would be able to make it. Okay, Satish, your thoughts? Yeah, Stars for me as well. Only concern, not a concern to lose or win for the Stars, but I think this Stars has to take this game you know, so that their other batsmen can get into the form as well. I think they already played one game, only played one game at this point, and it was a Ravi Teja show. Right? Ravi so, Teja show, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you have a nice point there. Yeah. And they fix, you know, in these games, their, their batsmen could, uh, other than the Teja, Ravi Teja, other batsmen should start scoring runs so that mm -hmm. they will be having more confidence on the key games and playoffs. Yeah, you have a valid point there. Yes, yes. Venkat. Uh, I would go with Stars. Go with the st Stars. So it's again 4-0 Stars here. The next game is going to be a very interesting game, uh, which is Stringers versus Strikers. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Stringers are playing, uh, you know, and I, so I never expected them to play to this level. And, uh, and definitely at this time, they are surprising the league. Your thoughts, Dinesh? Yeah, yeah Jagan bro. I think uh, from from the very beginning, I've been <laughs> uh, I don't know if I've been warning the league or not. I'm personally not surprised with the Stingers uh, playing well. Uh, they are a pretty well-oiled uh, T-ball team uh, with a lot of their folks just playing T-ball, concentrating on T-ball uh, with the Jagan there. Uh, so this one, with the current momentum, I'm going to call this uh, brave to Stingers. Stingers, wow, interesting. Uh, I hope uh, Pardev is listening this. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. Uh, Satish, your thoughts. Sorry, Sudha, your thoughts. Yeah, uh, I, I haven't known much about Stingers, uh, and But as you said, like Stingers are performing very well this year. And I would think strikers would come back. I mean, if they come back in a sense, like come with a full team to play good cricket against strangers, I'm expecting that. If 
strikers come with a good team and there is a chance it will be a very good game but still on that on that given day whoever plays better they will be winning but i my word goes for striker i'm thinking so striker party party will definitely come with a very strong team to play as king the top performing very well okay right now one one tie satish gaba your thoughts so frankly i do not know much about the stingers but i closely follow the striker team they have a good value added players at this season and uh, i would still go with the striker considering pathius you know mine and their experience that they carry so i'll go with the strikers okay right now two one strikers venkat you are uh, i would pass on this one second since i'm not same there with the both teams and uh... no you can you can still uh, take a toss and say uh, you know based on this <laughs> toss some yeah, you look, can pick one team the earlier performance on the strikers i would go with strikers strikers okay so right now strikers have edge uh based on our analyst tonight okay and the next game of the night is dark horses versus phantom phantoms fan i think phantom should win this one because uh, dark horses is predominantly all new faces uh, your thoughts dinesh yeah then bro dark horses uh, close to dark horses right it's not easy with what we were talking about after thing uh, in dc uh, from my point of view it's like it's not easy to do what dark horses are doing uh, year after year right um so kudos to them but uh, phantom should have this one okay suda so yeah i would vote for phantom and uh, the main reason being they are coming back strong than earlier season and i have seen that like their hot cases on a lower they were not performing much uh, earlier and uh, i'm not sure about this year if they have any new faces and with new talent but but i would go for phantoms phantoms very good and then uh, uh, satish i'll also go with the phantom in this game i think they had a good start for the season and i know couple of phantom guys personally they are very good cricketer and good. and also have seen phantom teams around the dcl night i think they were like a family that hmm. bond you know make a huge difference on the ground so i'll go with the phantom so that's a nice observation yeah so any time you know, you have to have that bond uh, uh and that should reflect on the game also and which which they have done very well in, in they played only one game i think phantoms and they dominated that one venkat your thoughts uh, i would go with phantom phantoms okay the next game of the night is gladiators versus titans i will um I exclude um, uh satish here uh, satish if you want to add anything you can add uh, but i'll start with dinesh yeah this one um that's a uh, good luck to satish and uh, team uh, hopefully in making uh, you know a cause an upset but i'm going to call this for gladiators just with uh, the momentum early early season momentum is always with gladiators but later it's uh, it's a big question mark but the early season momentum with glad so going with glad for this one. so you mean to say gladiators win now and they only to lose in the playoffs <laughs> no comment <laughs> <laughs> but that's what they did last year so yeah, yeah i hope they break that one this year and yep. um uh, suda yeah um i would say this could uh, definitely this could be a close game uh, in my perspective so the main reason being after a couple of losses so they try titans i think they would come back strong at the same time i know very well that lads is a good team they perform at any given day even with half of the team or one or two players but only one question is the right now the season just started if they have any scarcity of top players not showing up for the game it could be anybody's game that is the only thing i can think about but i would say it would be definitely glad i would vote for glad but i i, I wish a good luck for satish team to come back if they could perform well on that day it it can be definitely titans game too yeah okay the next uh, say uh, i'll go to venkat straight away venkat your thoughts 
I would go with GLADS. GLADS. Okay, Satish, do you want to add anything here? No, I take that feedback. Uh, GLADS is a stronger team on the paper, but as a cricket goes, you know, any team can beat any team and we are a good side as well. If you we play on our 100% potential, you might see an upset. Yeah, that's a nice call. Okay. And uh, the next game of the night is FCC Agni versus Motor City. Uh, this is going to be a very good game. Dinesh. Yes, exactly. This is going to be a pretty close game for sure. Uh, just want to give this one to Agni with, uh, with again, a little bit of uh, experience edged uh, for them uh, versus Motor City. But again, uh, Bargav is coming back as well. So I wish them good luck. But uh, it's FCC at me for me. Okay, Sudha, your thoughts? I would vote with FCC at me based on their experience. Unless if they make any mistakes. Okay, cool. Satish. Yeah, I will also go with FCC Agni. FCC Agni is a better side than the last year. Arun is back, you know, and the new addition they have. So, FCC Agni for me. Yeah, Arun is a great addition for them. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Venkat? Uh, I would back uh, Bargo, Motor City. Oh, wow. Awesome. I like that. Mm. So, what do you think? So, why, why are you backing... Uh, uh, motor city any reason for that or not or much, uh, to... uh, with, a, with a little experience uh, in bargo uh, he has uh, he's trying to build the chemistry in the game and uh, you know get the folks going so okay good the next game is hawks versus fcc actually yeah i should say sorry to venkat you know venkat i thought you know uh, i got mixed up with uh, hawks uh, versus uh, Bacha game with your with you guys knights. I thought it is knights versus Bacha. So, okay, and uh, yeah, Hawks versus FCC. Your thoughts, uh, Dinesh? Uh, tough one. Um, not, not because of uh, the the analyst here, but uh, I want to give this one to Hawks and see what happens. Uh, just a gut feel. <laughs> okay, Sudha. I I would vote for FCC with the talent uh, based on experience, but definitely it will be a close game because I know some of the Hawks players. They play very nice, and especially with Naresh Arkut. I think Naresh Arkut plays for Hawks, right? I have no idea. I haven't checked oh, okay. the team who is playing. No, I remember like that. Yes. yes yeah, I heard that he didn't play last game, but I would say it will be a very close game. Uh, still, I would like to give it to FCC. Wow. FCC. Okay, right now it is 1-1 tie. And Satish Gaba. Yeah, I also go with the FCC just because they are having a good experience, you know, for the DCL. Hawks team, I barely know a couple of people only from their that side. But I think not everything right for the FCC as well, if you see, right? Uh, from the last year, every year I think they are having major changes in their team. That must be some concern, you know, from their side. Hmm. True. You have a valid point there, Venkat. Your thoughts? I'll go with FCC. FCC. Okay. Any reason? Uh, not really, but uh, so far whatever I've seen, uh, they are uh, playing good. They played only one game as of now. I think Hawks played two games. They uh, they won one and they lost one. If my guess is right, the the the, the one they lost uh, was a very close game, I guess. Okay, and yeah, uh, yeah please go ahead. No, I'm sorry, carry on. Okay, the next game of the night is Hitman versus uh, SLCC Guardians. I'll skip Sudha here, um, unless he wants to add something. I'll start with Dinesh. Yeah, th this one. Um... I'm going with the Hitman, but uh, definitely it's a, it's a Sudha, I think uh, it's going to be a close game just because of uh, what uh, Sudha and um, it, it just being uh, a new set of people. I mean, definitely experienced set of people for sure, but new set of people coming through. But I'm just giving this one to Hitman 
um, with a little bit of what we saw last year in the, in the first game as well. So it's giving this one to Hickman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I just re- received a text from uh, Satish Legends Captain. I will vote for Guardians instead of Sudha. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they no, have some support no, I think, there. Uh, the, this the, is the Satish advantage I, of uh, uh, yeah, having right. a club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no true true no i'm yeah. i'm really happy for uh, satish and uh, the southlands uh, cricket club uh, it's 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 always good new uh, opportunity and what was mentioned here and i i was like uh, extremely excited with uh, how things are and satish and i we 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 uh, generally known each other and um, are, are good friends too so i mean nothing like that but again it's it's one of those things where hitman just based off of what we saw last year in the first year that's all. <laughs> okay okay i'll quickly go to satish satish your thoughts on this game so i again it's a tough call uh, i actually was going through the uh, guardian team and i could not find very familiar name so i'll go with the hitman but my best wishes to sudha because sudha and satish are two nicest pe- people around the league so my best wishes for them you know for this new club and uh, and game as well but i'll i still think hitman because i have played against the hitman and i think they are the, they are able to impact the same team and yeah, i think sarjan i'm other than sudha probably i don't know anyone I, I, i might not have seen or might have seen but not that known name so but i I'll, i'll second your statement that you know two are the nicest these two are nicest people in the in the in the league i'll second that okay, yeah. okay. Yes. I'll I'll go to Venkat Rai. Right? Venkat, your thoughts on this game? Uh, I have to pass this game since we have umpiring. Oh, you guys are umpiring. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Okay. The next game of the uh, night is Dhairia versus Pokeries. I think Pokeries four zero. If uh, uh, I hope no objections there. Dinesh. Ah, uh, no objections. Okay. Sudha, what do you say? Yeah, I'll vote for Pokeries. Pokeries. Satish Gaba. A... Pokeries. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, Sudha, no, go ahead, please. I just, I just wanted to say that, like, they have extreme talent in Pokeries team. And Daira is trying to come back and play good cricket. And still, with the experience and the talent Pokeries had, I would definitely go. Oh, okay. Cool. Satish. Yeah, probably for me as well. Venkat. I'm just checking if we have umpiring. Uh, I'm not able to make it up. The, the area, rising, stars versus, uh, rising Stars and Patriots are empires for that game. I, I'll go with the Pokeries. Pokeries, okay. The next game of the night is Thunderbolts versus Troy Hawks. Wow, it's going to be a good game. Okay. Dinesh. Yeah, again, I mean... Uh... Thunderbolts is like it's it's always tough for me to call uh, this one uh, against Thunderbolts, but Troy Hawks current momentum uh, going with Troy Hawks, but uh, yeah, just a, just a word of caution for Troy Hawks or uh, encouragement for Thunderbolts is like last game of uh, Troy Hawks last week here, you know that kind of a game it's going to be pretty pretty rare for Troy Hawks, but I think current momentum Troy Hawks are uh, doing well, so I'm just going with Troy Hawks for this one. So Troy Hawks are your favorites then. Okay, the next uh, uh, Sudha, your thoughts on this game? Uh, I would go with Troy Hawks for this game. Okay, and Satish Gaba. Yeah, I'll also go with the Troy Hawks. I think if you see right from last couple of years, Santosh Bhai is working on his team and building team by brick by brick. I think every new season he is adding couple of good players in his side. which is making Troy Hawks stronger and I'm I always closely follow this thing so I'll go with this Troy Hawks yeah I, I agree on every point of yours and he's been working hard to build this team for the past you know several years and I I see they started really well this year that's what I feel okay when could and also talks. I think uh, I think somebody was mentioning I think it's it, Dinesh or someone was mentioning about even if you're losing you should not lose the passion and the confidence on your team i think santosh bhai is able to carry i think couple of years ago 3 3 years ago so they were having a bad season each and every year 
but they they did not do the confidence on their team and keep on building the team adding new players and now they are into a position where people are actually taking their team seriously and they are doing serious. good, good in- yes yes you are right yeah okay venkat your thoughts uh i would pick uh, hawks ha- try hawks okay there's another team called hawks so <laughs> we have to specifically yeah, yeah, say try hawks yeah, i will go with try hawks yeah. yeah try hawks okay the next game of the night is spartans versus sterling strikers uh, i i i have a very strong gut feeling that st- uh, sterling strikers are going to win but the way they they are playing um, you never know about this team and you know whether it's the uh, on a given day they can dominate any team and they can lose to any team so so uh, Sterling Strikers has been like that. And I'll start with Dinesh. Dinesh, your thoughts? Yeah, I think uh, I'm going with Sterling Strikers for sure uh, with, with the experience and stuff. But again, with what we discussed last uh, week uh, with uh, Chanakya, Chanakya Lokam and uh, uh, how things are. Spartans, uh, yeah, they, they always have a spark. So uh, no one can take them lightly. You know, a couple of good guys uh, flick there. uh you know the nadim khan and the chanakya locums of uh, spartan the day click then it's going to be a good game but uh, sterling strikers yeah just uh, difficult to score run against the uh, run against sterling strikers is how we see it so giving it to sterling strikers sterling strikers okay uh, yeah. sudha your thoughts yeah this will be definitely a, a close game I, in my perspective because uh, i know Spart- spartan they play very well as you said selling strikers on a given day they can go to they can go good score or they can come down very easily it will be definitely a close game but based on the team strength i vote for selling striker <laughs> yeah either they will be see they will kill or they will be killed so that kind of team <laughs> okay your thoughts uh, satish Yeah, again, what I was saying, Sterling Stryker, how they are coming up with their playing throw is something very important because the Mishika is completely on and I think a couple of people are only playing for just to qualify and then play the playoff game. So, they are key players. So, if they, if they could not get those players, it is going to be tough for Sterling Stryker. It's part and for me, considering they might not have their uh, good playing throw. That's an interesting observation. Yes, you are right. Yeah. Yeah, Venkat. Uh, I will pick uh, strikers, selling strikers. Selling strikers, okay. And don't say just strikers. You know, we have another strikers. <laughs> another so, strikers. Yeah. We, we <laughs> did play. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> selling, <laughs> selling strikers. Okay. The last game of the night is local boys versus GLCC. I'll start with Dinesh. Yeah, this one, uh, with whatever we've been seeing from G- GLCC, it is... Uh, Tough to call against them, so just experience and uh, you know, the kind of quality. Just going with uh, GLCC for this one. Yeah, I'm expecting some of the key players who are missing from action for the last uh, two games or three games. They should be joining from this game, is what I'm guessing, because especially this one is under lights. So probably you may see a couple of key players. playing this game any okay um, <laughs> <laughs> i don't have any at this time <laughs> at this time i don't have that's so just a talk because we we have long weekend and after that uh, you know a weekend to a, a full week to pass so so <laughs> maybe maybe in our our next uh, next show uh, i should be able to spill some beans okay <laughs> okay so that your thoughts i would simply go out for gcc based on their experience as you said earlier um, every, they they have a lot of experienced players and they know each and every rule of the dcl and they know when to turn the game and when to come back strong okay satish yeah gcc for me as well it should not be a close game it should be one sided game for the gcc and one more thing jagan i would like to congratulate glcc for passing the legacy to the very right person akash patel is one of the nice person again around the league i would say very 
is a thoroughly gentleman. Uh, I think that you guys have a right pick for uh, leading the LCP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I see, it's it's an obvious automatic choice. Okay, and uh, uh, Venkat, your thoughts? Uh, I would uh, pick the GLCC. Okay, with that we have concluded every game uh, 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 that will happen after the long weekend. And and Dinesh, see, you may be doing yeah. the same prediction again next week. So because you are the regular <laughs> analyst, so okay, remember <laughs> all these. So, uh, okay. I don't want you to mess up next week. <laughs> <laughs> I, so uh, don't change teams okay and already uh, already uh, hopefully so with that long weekend long weekend doesn't confuse me <laughs> dilute my thoughts <laughs> yeah so with that i'll quickly go go uh, go to all our analysts and guests uh for the last word and uh, after the last words uh, we will conclude this show i'll uh, i'll go to the nish first batting power play is uh, underutilized in this year is my final thought for the night <laughs> yeah see batting power play when you said that one lot a lot of people they'll wait mm-hmm. till last three hours for that one you know that's what i that's observed true. i don't know why they take it at the yeah. last three hours because last three hours you are any have anyways going to swing the bat right <laughs> so exactly. Uh, exactly. take it little early is what i'll say okay um yeah. sudha last words i would say uh, may, uh, most of the thing uh, players have to keep their excitement low while playing the game like i mean to say while batting if they hit a six or four they they should not think that i can hit more and more in the same over and it's always better to think in like hey i got enough runs so let's play cool and get more runs in the next over or some other way rather than going it and throwing a wicket that is what play sensible playing sensibility in the game is the most important thing i would say okay playing sensible is very key to winning okay satish yeah i would like to thank jagan sir for inviting us and allowing us to introduce our new team and i would like to con- uh, uh, um, i would like to give my best wishes for each and every team participating in this year for a fruitful uh, season thank you and uh, venkat yep uh, thank you for the opportunity i would say and uh, enjoy your cricket and uh, definitely will cross the line just keep your cool <laughs> don't argue with umpires for everything <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah i look forward to see most of the folks uh, on the ground okay thanks a lot guys and uh, see uh, 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 and so not just thanks thanks to you guys and you, uh, all you guys have been very wonderful uh, guys based on what uh, my interaction with you and uh, my interaction with others about you and all those have very sweet words for you and uh, uh, thorough gentleman and uh, i wish good luck uh, to all your teams and uh, i hope you'll have more success in dcl and with that we will conclude tonight's show by saying uh, have a wonderful a long weekend and drive safely thank you guys good night